Now, it's well known that your hormones can dictate your mood. In a poll that we conducted, a massive 99% of you said that your hormones have an effect on your behaviour. But is it ever okay to use being hormonal as an excuse for bad behaviour? Well, you're, you're very open about, Nadia, about your, your hormones and your... <laughs> Well, you are. Nice. You, you call yourself a professional no. oversharer. No, I'm not. You Never are. Said that. Yes, you, you have. have said that. <laughs> That's what I used to be like. In, with my my premenstrual tension was as you was, do. Was, do. was, was as bad as that. Like somebody could say something. I said, "What do you mean? What are you saying?" Oh my gosh! It's I a look in your that. eye. Oh. You're saying that. Oh, but but when I was in it, I was right, and everyone else was wrong. Right, and. And, and I used to say to Mark all the time, it, you know, uh, post premenstrual, you know, like when you've sobered up. Post premenstrual. Yeah, mm. post premenstrual, you know, like after you've had your period right. and you're calm. And, and Mark would say, well, you're just, why is it when you're premenstrual, you're just so horrible? I said, I'm not. What it is is the whole rest of the month, I can suppress it. Yes. <laughs> yes. In that week, that is a fact. I have no more strength. Yeah. <laughs> That and is it, it yeah. And, it, and it's really, you know, I was really suffered with it, and so did everyone else around me. But it's interesting now watching my daughters, and I can tell, I can tell exactly when they're premenstrual, because everything is irrational, and it's so weird seeing it and, and seeing that for them it's real, and me just going, oh my God. But this you think is what your it truth like. comes out in yeah. hormones? I. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're people saying that you're really able annoying. to suppress your yeah. bad behaviour the rest of the month, yeah. and well, that's no. it. You're saying that yeah. that's the real it's you. True. It's premenstrual when... truth. Yeah, because you've, no, you've got no control. Bad behaviour. I think it's suppressing the irritations that you have yeah. of being under the stress of living with other people, which is a very stressful thing to do. But what if someone says to you, "Oh, you PMT again," yeah. even if they're right? But they're never right, no, are they? No, well, it doesn't matter. You can't yeah. point you can't it out to it. someone. You can't no. point it out right. when they're going through a mad phase. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I was... I did used to go mad. Well, what, what, what do you mean? Like, what how? kind of thing oh, did you do? I just... <laughs> <laughs> I can't give you an example. Did you but think, it... for instance, we never landed on the moon or something? <laughs> 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 well, I'm still <laughs> mad then, aren't I? <laughs> uh, no, 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 really sort of yeah. irrational behaviour, real kind of a a accusing people of, of things that couldn't possibly have... they couldn't possibly have done. And really, if they were smashing, did you do a lot of doors? No, 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 not that sort of thing. Just, like, mad stuff. I can remember like, one paranoia. incident. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't go into it, it's too long, but... Um, it's a good one. It's, it's a good uh, one. It, it, it was... And at the time, you seriously think that that's mm. what's happening. Yeah, and it's totally real. And if yeah. someone says to you, oh, is it that time of the month? Seriously, it just makes you even worse. Yeah. No, but, yeah. but then it passes but and also... you suddenly go... Jesus, who was that? I know, but it's the nature. It's yeah. the nature of the conversation, isn't it? I mean, yeah. is it an Jekyll excuse denied. for bad behaviour? No, it's not. It's not it's an excuse. miserable when you're it, like it's that. It's kind of an explanation yeah. Mm. Yeah. for people's different mood swings. But it has and been used as an excuse, Kay. In mm. legal cases, it, it has been used. Well, as but a it's defense. just that word "excuse" that mm -hmm. I take mm. exception to because mm -hmm. the general conversation around it is that you're trying to get away with bad behaviour and yeah. there's like, oh god, women and their hormones. Yeah. yeah. We always talk about women and their hormones. Men have hormones too. It's part yes. of it. Physiology. Yeah. And Every it's really interesting. Has that poll, 99%. When have we ever had a poll Never that said that 99%? High. Mm. It's part of who we are of and it what is. we are. It's the life force. Uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And it's the same with men. I mean, Mark and the full moon, you've got to run. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm not joking. I honestly out. thought you were about to be sensible. <laughs> no, he's howling. <laughs> look, look, the tides are changed yeah. by the moon. Have you, have you got hormone. PMT or something? No. <laughs> He's I howling at the moon. But what about... but his hormones, he's driven by yeah. his hormones. And I think <laughs> it's not just women, it's men as well. It's not, well, it's, it's, there, there are biorhythms. Obviously, yeah. your, your body reacts in certain ways and ebbs and flows, and that, that's science, that is science. But also, you, you've mentioned before, Kay, that sometimes you struggle with, with, or have done in the past, with driving, paying attention, not necessarily feeling like you're, you're all together with it. And oh, that, yeah, no, that's was... not an excuse, that's a genuine well, reason. Well, absolutely. I mean, when I, when I was younger and, and um, <laughs> having periods... <laughs> Um, I miss them now. I, I, was, I was a very bad driver between... <laughs> sort of, let's, let's not. No, miss them. When somebody says, oh, I've got my period, I'm like... <laughs> really? I'm kind of like a witch. Really? Yeah, I get jealous. 
You are <laughs> fat. Jealous of the youth. But how? But go on, before when how you had do you explain the behaviour of teenagers? If it's not for hormones, yeah, because that's yeah. exactly what of it, is. it is. Teenagers, when they go through that phase yeah. where they just hate you and everything is terrible. Yeah, and that's not always How attached do you to peers. That? I mean, young young no. boys, young teenage boys? boys also go through different mood swings because of their hormones. We talk about fight or flight when you're in a stress situation. Mm. What's your reaction? Yep. All of that is driven by hormones. So it's mm. something that applies to all of us, but it tends to get pinned to women. Uh, to kind of sort of dismiss them as being a bit flaky. And I yeah. think that's where it becomes really problematic. And, yeah, well, you know, I used to have two or three days during the month that I was a terrible driver, and I was absolutely aware of it. I, on a couple of occasions, I ran a red light, and I knew I'd done it. My reactions weren't fast enough. I was kind of discombobulated. Yeah. And, and so I made myself really aware of it, but... Stop you... driving. Well, but, <laughs> well, to be honest, in those two, three days, I would be yeah. extra, extra careful. I'd drive really slow and I'd really slow. Well, but you should you drive like that all the time, though, really. What? I do I not. Mean, you should, no, you should. But drive, like, oh, yeah, slowly and carefully all the time. Did any of you find that your not symptoms just... were much worse when you were around men, though? Because I do, and I genuinely do think... What, why I'm, what I'm getting to with that is I think that we need more understanding about it and it doesn't exacerbate it. Mm. Because I think the whole thing of, oh, is it your hormones? Oh, you're premenstrual. Oh, you're... It does. It doesn't help. And we mm. have to recognise that it is a thing. Be kinder about mm. it. And you do get that with other women. You can mm. say it. I always... When I used to be premenstrual, I just wanted to live in a female commune just yeah, because it, like, I yeah. felt safe. Um, but and... it's interesting, obviously, you were talking about when you were having, having periods, and that's when you tend to think of, you know, great big hormonal fluctuations yeah. and all that sort of thing. I was, I was always fairly steady eddy when I was uh, having periods and that, that sort of thing. Mine has been since having the hysterectomy, because mm. obviously I had my ovaries out and everything out. And now I feel like I've been a, lun a lunatic for three years now. Mm. Just everything is... You're not even disagreeing. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, that felt like that in my so menopause. Funny that. What, what <laughs> <laughs> what impact do you feel it has had on you? Um, yeah, I feel I've, I've been... I know I've been more irrational, much more emotional, not necessarily as logical. I, I can feel that it has affected me. And, it, yes, OK, there's HRT, and, but even that, it balances and it takes but its while But the hormones are like it's... a control centre, aren't they? They yeah. control almost yeah. everything. And, and if you have thyroid problems, for instance... All of that. Then how... They can make you really ill. Yeah, and yeah. And they're very easily corrected and can make it right. Mm. So if you do have hormone problems, they're very difficult to diagnose and, yeah. and find out if you have. But... Yeah, but it, it's not you, it's them.